Okay, dropping in 10. Let's freaking go. <sighs> creep, 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 drop, drop, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Head Games, a ski film that dives into the mindset, strategies, and fortitude required for success in the sport of free skiing. Showcasing the psychological battles that skiers face, such as fear, pressure, and the mental preparation needed while competing, filming, and sending it. Keep in tight. Luke, are you filming? I learned this new trick. You go like dropping. Oh. The plan was to have the season of a lifetime, adventuring to new places for epic skiing. But things don't always go to plan. In early January, the crew was out for a day in the backcountry when teenage stupidity came into play. So, that sucked. I got smoked in the head by a massive tree branch in the middle of the back country, and it fractured my skull, gave me a major concussion and a brain aneurysm. I was super out of it, couldn't really see straight, my brain hurt, and so I got life flighted to the nearest hospital, and there they told me I'm not really allowed to ski for a month and not allowed to go fast or leave the ground for at least another three months, which is a bummer. But the worst part is we're supposed to go to Austria here in a couple days to see why I compete at Junior Worlds. So, although I did just get back from the neurologist and they said it is up to me whether I go to Europe or not. So, I'm going to Europe. Play your drop that, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here we go, drop it into Europe. I get mad chicks with my legit man purse. All Kai Jones stees. <laughs> <laughs> Held in Koppel, Austria, the Junior Freeride World Championships are the biggest stage for 16 to 18 year old freeriders to prove themselves. I qualified last year and it's such an honor to be here and compete against the best young skiers in the world. Competitors face immense pressure. Athletes travel from all across the world for a single run. Luckily for Wyatt, the crew was there to keep him focused while preparing for the most important run of his life.
31 people from 11 nations. Big mix of some of the best junior freeriders in the world. Here we go, then the men's ski category. Always a crazy show. Uh, and if we want to talk about risk taking, these guys are going to push the limits of it. Wyatt, Wyatt Gentry, United States, from the Evolution Ski Team in Jackson Hole. That's a new entry. Is that a possible entry or is that, that making the impossible possible? That's some big mountain riding there. That's <laughs> definitely like a, a Jackson Hole kind of entry. Spiny, narrow line. Going for a fresh exit there as Ooh. well. Unbelievable. Wow. That honestly might be the best line choice of the day. Yeah, Wyatt! Wyatt Gentry, super fluid, super creative, not a finger out of position from top to bottom so far, and some of the most creative features we've seen so far. And I feel like those 360s at the top are, are cool and all, but definitely not as difficult as skiing deep, steep terrain like that. And when we talk about those, must have been difficult entries to find. We've seen some yeah. people hesitating, but yeah, the fluidity is in there for and that reason. You know, on it, this is how you third place. Third place, Wyatt Gentry, the 78.33. Three three. Wyatt's European success in the heavy snowfall in Jackson fueled the boys' excitement to get home and ski with their friends, Danny and Claire. In Casper Bowl, it's just a nice, fun day. We have Danny here from Utah, and he's nowhere to be seen, but we're gonna go find him. Danny! Snowfall in Jackson filled the mountains in perfectly for kings and queens of Corbett's. It's an honor to be invited into this prestigious event where skiers and snowboarders alike compete against one another for the crown. We're here in Jackson, hometown, and this is the biggest event of the year, Kings and Queens of Corbett's. It is what every kid in Jackson grows up dreaming to do. And our friend Claire, got the call and we're stoked. Hi, I'm Claire McPherson. I am 19 years old and I am competing in Kings and Queens tomorrow. I, yeah, you know, it snowed almost a foot here. I didn't go to jump practice. I was just skiing some powder, so, oops. <laughs> Like, I guess the last question is, do you think you can win? No, I don't think I'm going to win. I'm just excited to put my style and my energy down the venue and just see what happens. Each athlete gets two chances to hook themselves into the legendary Kular, requiring skill as well as courage to triumph. Next to drop in, coming out of Fernie, BC, Claire McPherson. She is a rookie, uh, but I think she's got a really good chance of doing well here today. First time. Looking here into Corbett's, Fernie Prince Columbia's Claire McPherson dropping in. Smooth entrance into the Goulart. There she goes, there's some strategy in there. Big back flip. Yes! Oh, making that landing look absolutely easy. Skipping over those rocks, no problem. See what she's got on the final crowd pleaser. 
going spreader. Definitely a crowd pleaser. Rolling off of Claire's success in Kings and Queens, the crew was stoked to get an invitation to go ski for the Blank Collective. A dream come true for Wyatt and Tucker. And for Luke, still injured, a chance to film in the Canadian Alpine Paradise. Put all our stuff in the truck and head out. 16 hour drive, here we come. The blank film will, probably, be super cinematic and epic. That's just Alexi and Stan's style. But this is what really happened while the boys were up in Canada. I've currently gotten three tickets and lost my skis. So that's great. Oh, well, clearly like, they drop in midair. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actors. I don't fall for it, I'm perfect to all your tactics. Yeah, so try again, it's time to take a vitamin. Yeah, and vitamin, welcome to the lion's den. And I'm Mufasa, big boss in charge of coming in like a bull. You see me raising the stock up, uh, yeah. So baby, you gonna need some patience. I already won, now I'm just making a statement, uh. Damn, baby, why your mans keep hating? You asking about the cake, you here for the celebrations? And I ain't fishing, I ain't really into baiting. I know they all Three, wish I take two, the way they make it, but rock. sorry I'm taking me and my lady making. She look me in the eyes and tell me how much she loving on my uh, confidence. Yeah, it really shouldn't be no arguments. Cause you're now viewing the greatest of all time. Saying I can't get better. I promise they all lying on my confidence. Yeah, that's right. Uh, look. I think it's time you start using your common sense. Everybody watch out, cause the bomb is lit. I got that. Uh, 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 uh. Skiing the Grand was one of my main goals for this season. And skiing up in Canada and getting into some bigger terrain and finding comfortability within it, I think is a key part to my preparation and hopefully leads to a successful mission. being immersed in that new terrain and being with a bunch of new people got me fired up to get back home and get after it in our mountains.
season, I wanted to explore a new side of the sport, and that was ski mountaineering. Around where we live in the Jackson Hole area, the pinnacle of that is the Grand Teton. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to ski the Grand, and it's kind of turned into a proving ground for me and a stepping stone not only for my ski mountaineering, but as a skier. Thompson doesn't have shit on me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got hurt kind of towards the beginning of the film season and I have not able to, you know, get after it, which has slowly been killing me. It's been a long season of going on all the trips and pretty much just being able to watch and film. It has been hard being 100% physically everywhere but my head, making it so I was never really able to ski anything all season. It's been tough showing an incredible amount of patience while healing during a historic snow year. Luke was finally able to get out from behind the camera and send it. Don't touch the ball, it's over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came to build the test, you met the best, expect the chest, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I propped you out with no apologies. I am the hope, the heart, the faith, the spark, the one who will fulfill the prophecy. I just been counting, never lounging, climbing up mountains, bouncing back. Step in the ring, I'm about to step back. Damn long hot when I get on the track. I like it louder than most, watching all these sheep just by down to the goat. If I can't decide, I'ma probably get both. We can celebrate, but right now I'm a toast, resurrected ghost. The best part of coming back is to get to send some big stuff with my little brother. This is the industry standard of how we choose who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> who goes <I'm> first? You are just not on my level. I keep my foot on the pedal. I set the tone out of seven. We can take this outside, outside. Looking at the stars, staring in my mouth. About halfway up, going to ski a line called Pink Slip. Looking absolutely killer out here. So psyched right now. Three, two, one. Dropping in. Oh, sack. Come on, let's go. Almost done. Almost done. 